A dangerous close encounter with Russian jets raising echoes of the Cold War. This dramatic video shows them repeatedly flying near a U.S. warship in the Baltic Sea. ABC's chief global affairs correspondent Martha Raditz has the latest, joins us from our Washington bureau. Good morning, Martha. Good morning, Robin. This morning, the Russians are saying they observed all safety precautions when flying by that U.S. warship, but there was nothing safe about this. The Russians have not come this close to U.S. ships in decades. It's not just a dangerously close flyby, one within 30 feet of the U.S. destroyer. It is one of the most aggressive Russian acts against the U.S. military since the end of the Cold War. Well, now the bridge went. Russian jets flying in a way that simulated an attack, and not just once, but over and over. In the last two days, the jets making more than 30 passes over the American ship in international waters and roaring at just 100 feet off the Baltic Sea, causing a wake in the water as if a giant speedboat had raced by. It's wholly unsafe. There's no reason to be that low. There's no room for error and there's lots of room for disaster. And it wasn't just the attack jets. The Russians had a helicopter flying low altitude circles around the U.S. warship more than half a dozen times. The Americans on the destroyer repeatedly radioed the Russian pilots of the helicopter and the jets in both English and Russian, but the transmissions were ignored. Could they be entering a new chapter of looking to intimidate NATO in the northern Baltics? Or is this something where they're looking to distract NATO as they may begin a spring offensive in the Ukraine? This morning, the U.S. continues to work diplomatic channels about the incident. But over the last few years, the Russians have only gotten more aggressive with these flybys. And nothing the U.S. has done so far, George, has stopped that. Boy, so aggressive. Okay, Martha, thanks very much.